Today's scripture from the book of 1 Corinthians 9, 16 through 18. For if I preach the gospel, that gives me no ground for boasting, for necessary is laid upon me. Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not, for my own will, I am still entrusted with a store ship. What then is my reward? That in my preaching I may present the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Good morning, New Life Church. Today, let us have time to think about who can declare the gospel and what reward we can get in return for it through what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Paul said that he would rather die than lose his ground for boasting in the previous verse. He made it clear that he was not boasting because he himself had decided to preach the gospel. He did not feel he had any choice about whether he would continue to preach about salvation through faith in Jesus. Right. Christ compared Paul to preach the gospel. The Lord himself sent Paul into the world with the message of God's grace. Both the burden and the ability came from God. So Paul could not brag about either one. If so, is it only for Paul to be able to preach the gospel? Has God given only Paul both the burden and the ability for preaching the gospel? That's not true. It is not only the mission of any specific person to preach the gospel, but the mission of all of us. But the reason why we think it is difficult to preach the gospel is that we need our hard work for it. And because we cannot get any reward for preaching the gospel in this land. However, you know, because of rewards are not received from this land but from the kingdom of heaven, we must be a person who preach the gospel in our lives. So, in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul encourages Christians to willingly give up their rights for the good of those who are weak in their faith. Paul also shows that he has given up his rights, including the right um, as an officer to receive financial support from those he serves. Instead, he boasts that he serves the Corinthians without any compensation, even at great cost to himself. Paul describes himself as an athlete competing for the prize of a crown in eternity. His point is for believers to pursue goodness and the good of others with the kind of commitment. So in today's Bible reading plan, there is a story about uh, Michael Coverson who had graduated six in his class from West Point in 1839. He decided to be a missionary in China instead of staying in the remaining in the in the army by answering God's calling. As time goes by, when his friend said, if you had remained in America instead of going to China and was still part of the army, you would surely have been a general in the, in the world. 
though Copperson responded, no doubt I might, but there is no post of influence on earth equal to that of a man who is permitted to give the word of God to 400 million of his fellow men. Right, there is no more important task for any of us than sharing the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. So today's Bible reading plan says, there are many things in his life which are valuable and important and worthy of our effort. But there is one task that above all others focuses on the next life, and that is reaching out to others with the gospel. If we accomplish great temporal things but do nothing which impacts eternity, the world may praise us, but eternity will not. So I bless in the name of Jesus that we own such faith and become the children of God who live for the eternal. Right? So God bless you and have a great week.